Guacamelee! Welcome back. This is the Guacamelee bonus video. Cause let's be honest. What the heck was up with this guy? We gave him all our money, he set off dynamite, and then nothing happened except, ah, something did happen. It was magical dynamite. So it opens a door to, well, it looks like a chalk mool door, but it's not a chalk mool door. Where does it go? Last episode, we saved El Presidente's daughter. We got the eternal flying dragon chicken. This clucking is going to continue until we go all the way to El Infierno. So this is your lucky day. If you've ever been mad at me and left me a comment or something saying, Brick Road, go to hell! I'm there. This is literally it. Because there was a subplot about El Diablo getting on the wrong side of Kalaka and Kalaka turning him into a rooster. And here we are in El Infierno. Good stuff. There is an Olmec head here, thank goodness. And El Infierno is the Devil's Advocate Law Firm. Good to know. So what's the deal here? Bronze, zero. Silver, zero. Gold, zero. Looks like El Diablo is having a bad day. So Kalaka has sealed all the doors in El Diablo's law firm, and the only way to open them is to complete his ridiculous challenge levels. Which we're going to do now. Challenge one. Race to the goal as quickly as you can. You got it. So the, e the, the easier or the faster or better you do these challenges, the better metal you get. What am I doing? So you definitely want to have chicken friend for this. See, we have to redo that now because we didn't get the gold. This one might actually be better as Juan when we get here. Because that's a little bit faster. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. Number two. Defeat all the enemies and get the highest combo. We might get the gold on this. I'm not sure. It's going to depend on a lot of stuff. One way to get a good combo is to get grabby with it. So those of you who thought like a 600 hit combo sounds impossible, this is how we do it. As long as we're grabbing someone, we're pretty safe. But if we get hit, we lose the whole combo. Oh, there it is. We got it. There's four hundo. So, I'm going to come clean. I have never cleared El Infierno with all golds, and I'm not likely to do it today. Use the environment to defeat these invincible enemies, because you got crap like this. This is a terrible level. Just absolutely terrible. You gotta keep going up here and hitting this switch. Is 
that everybody? Not quite. Oh, that's bad. I should have rolled into the spikes myself and he would have followed me. Probably, I don't know that for sure. That'll do it? Yeah. Let's see, 20 seconds over. We got the silver, though. I'm sure if I just sat here and grinded it out, I'd be able to get it, but no thank you. Challenge four. Carefully time dodges to get to the thorns. You got it, bro. Just like that. We're, we are going to get the gold on this one, because it's just... It should just be a matter of dodging correctly. We'll just restart if we get hit by any of these. There we go. And you'll see, I think chicken form will come in real handy here, too. Oh, maybe not. This isn't the one I thought it was. We've still got the gold, though. Still came in under 25, even with a hit. I'm surprised they let you take the gold with the hit. Room 5, here we go. Survive the waves of enemies as long as you can. Well, I think I got the gold on this during my test play, but we'll find out. If too many pile up, the bridge below us breaks, and that's it. I played this game on stream once, and I tried to wait out the waves with my chickening all the way up to the top, but that doesn't work for too long. Okay. Get out of here. Who's next? We're getting there. Okay, this is bad. This might be the end. Get both of these guys. Nice, we reset the clock. Whew. In fact, I'll bet I can do this now. We only got four more seconds. There's our gold. Just in time for the wizards to show up. <laughs> and yeah, we're, that's it. We're done now. We're done now. It's fine though. We got our 125, or 145 rather. I don't know my twos for my fours. It's gonna respawn us over here with the gold. Excellent work. What's next? Defeat the enemies without dodging. See, these, this is another one. I'm never gonna get the gold on this. It just locks your dodge button. You just. You can't dodge at all. Which I guess is better than setting it up so like if you push the dodge button it fails you. That would have been a lot meaner, probably. Because if you just hit it instinctually, you're done. Okay. Get out of here. Especially these fools. 
Oh, I see, I just instinctively reached for my dodge to get around that bone, and no good. So, just the bronze. We don't even get a silver there. What's next? Jump between moving platforms and get to the end as fast as possible. This is a job for the chicken. Jump between the moving platforms. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll get right on that, Guacamelee. Don't worry, buddy, I got you. See, the first time I played this game, I found Il Inferno before I got all the chalk mool masks. No special moves in this one. At least I can dodge, though. So I did. I actually did some of these movement rooms correctly. Oh, no special moves. That's right. No way I'm gonna get a- I mean, I guess I could try throws to get a combo here, but... Sometimes you've got to resign yourself to the fact that you're not getting a gold medal. It's like the guy in the background there says, don't even try. Get out of here with that weak sauce. Oh, you're not dead. I mean, it wasn't a bad room. I didn't take any hits, but... Alright, so that's floor two done. What have we here? Use special moves to avoid hazards and get to the finish. I mean, I'm not doing this one right, because chicken counts as a special move, doesn't he? Does chicken not count as a special move, guys? This part's annoying, so you've got to dodge roll through those spikes there. The timing needs to be perfect. The gold! Alright, what's next? What this dragon can chicken can read, really? Oh, no throws in this room. But we can dodge and we can use specials. Uh, this could be going better. This could absolutely be going better. Perfect. I mean, not anywhere close to perfect. Not, not even, not even in the ballpark. Perfect. Hear a rumbling in the distance. So that's all the bronze medals we need. We've opened the bronze door. Challenge eleven. Navigate to the portal. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> this one you get a gold just for finishing. You can't not get a gold on this one. Oh, we can't chicken here. That's right. Okay. So we got a double jump. Dash. Uppercut. Dodge. Then chicken. Ah, we did it. Remember that chicken at the end, because putting all the moves together to get to that point, and then getting screwed because of that chicken right at the end, that little tunnel. Find a way to progress past the moving obstacles. I have a, I have a good way. We can chicken. See, if you don't chicken through here, you've got to, like, dash uppercut through each of these. And look how long this one is. My goodness. No prob, Bob.
No problem at all. And there's this room. They want you to fly through it. Which I guess technically we are. We're just using the wrong kind of flight. Okay, 13. Ultra powerful enemies. One hit and you're dead. You're dead, son. Well, we got gold just for finishing. So far, so good. Ooh, that was a long-range headbutt right there. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought I was gonna get right up over that. I don't like being behind him like that. That's not... That's not the way Baby Jesus intended this to go. Okay. There we go. Oh! Okay. This is bad. Ah, shoot. I didn't expect him to attack from that far away. It's all right. This is a guaranteed gold, so I have that to look forward to at least. Wow, it was the little guy that got me. Okay. Okay. Nobody's keeping a death counter for this let's play, right? Okay. I rolled the wrong way. Oh no, I rolled the right way, but I was in the wrong polarity. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to press up against the first guy, not roll past him. Then I can get them both at once. Oh, I'm out of stamina! And then, uh... It's like, why didn't my frog drop come out? No more stamina. Yeah, if I reverse and don't roll here, I could stack these guys up. A little more... efficiently. All right, no stamina, Brick Road. Is that all of them? No, one left. No! No! I pushed my roll button a fraction of a second too late. Woo! So much for stacking these guys up. Wow! How did that hit me? I'm not even sure how that worked.
Basically, we have to keep all this bank. I mean, there's nothing left to buy in the game. I just like seeing the numbers go up. No, no, no! This room's hard. This room's actually very difficult. So what are, what's my plan for the yellow skeletons? It's clear I don't have one. I should roll towards whichever one I share polarity with. Yeah, roll towards them when I share polarity with. Well, that's not gonna work. If they're stacked up, that's bad for me because I can't attack the one because whichever one I don't have polarity on. is gonna kill me. That's if I can even make it back to the yellow skeletons, my goodness. This might be the hardest room, actually. Just to complete, I'm sure it's not the hardest one to gold. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ah. There we go. Got him desync a little bit. Keep knocking them across the other guy's spike. That's not going to help at all. Why was I that far to the right? I should have rolled to the right through him. So he slashes the wrong way. Hmm. Hey, I'm getting good at this first room, though. This guy's gonna go first. Now his brother. Okay. Come on, man. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Every other time I was like, okay, I'm gonna combo the dash into the headbutt. That turned out to not be the solution at all. So there's the silver room. We got all this, as many silvers as we need. Use goat run and goat fly to get to the end of the course. Sure thing, buddy. You got it. Oh. I guess we actually do need to goat run and goat fly. There we go. Chicken is probably strictly slower than the wall run and the goat fly here. 
Oh, this is the wrong way. Alright, hold on. We gotta stay on this side of the thorn, I guess. Hello. Let's uh start over as Juan instead of the chicken. Yeah, the chicken's probably strictly slower. But I think I've got less chance of accidentally flying or running the wrong direction. And this way I also get to subject you guys to all this clucking, all this wonderful, wonderful clucking. Oh, it's wonderful. My only regret is I can't do it in time to the background music there. And that's all the gold medals we need. Oh, I hate this one. This one's gonna... I think this one took like 13 minutes the first time I did it. So I got this chicken here. Which freezes... In the land of the dead. Or in the land of the living, I guess. No, it's frozen in the land of the dead. Alright, so far so good. That's fine, because, I mean, it's all good. No, that's bad. Up you go. So far, so good. Ugh. He hits any of these spike walls, he bounces like around uncontrollably. So we want to avoid that. We can touch the spikes basically with no repercussion. This actually looks good, believe it or not. This is fine, actually. Come on. Well, I can get over there. There we go. Beautiful. He hit the saws while I was off screen, but hey, you know what? That's the first I've ever got a gold on that. Beautifully done, Brick Road. Uh, we're gonna chicken this one. This is all about deadly saws. But it's another gold medal finish. I think it's really nice they don't make you get All the gold medals to complete these. <laughs> I think they realize that some people would be better at certain challenges than others. So they didn't force you to do all of them, because they knew some people were going to do good at the combat challenges, others would do good at the exploration challenges. Me, I do good at the chicken challenges. Beautiful. And so, one challenge left. And this one is like a big maze of arenas. And you have to find the exit. But here's the hint. The layout of the maze is identical to level one from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, I'll put those on screen. On the left, you see level 1 from The Legend of Zelda. On the right, you see a map of the maze we're about to do. Cool little Easter eggs hidden all over this game. So all I've got to do is go up. Hey, up. If this were actually Zelda, we'd be able to bomb up from here, but it's not actually Zelda. Although it is a bomb room. 
So it has that going for it. Gotta make sure I wait for my third combo to come out there. This is two yellow guys, right? Okay. Okay. That wasted a lot of time. I'm not looking for the gold here, but I mean, if I get the gold, it'd be nice to have. Okay. Keep going. This is wizards. No, this is armadillos. Okay. This is wizards. No, this is this is assholes. Wow, their shields actually lined up real nice. One with a blue shield, one with a yellow shield. You can't ask for better than that, really. And I got the got the gold anyway. So there's a lot of rooms I didn't go into, obviously. But at every dead end, which is practically the entire maze, there is a uh, a big clock you can get to add to your timer. But it's always better to go just the direct route through rather than try to add to the timer. So now the doors are open. Woo! Bronze door. Get El Portero costume. This is how you unlock the different costumes in the game. For example, the Alabrei costume that I've been wearing the entire place, the entire uh, game, is down here in Satan's wine cellar. Alabrei costume! Delectable. And then, of course, when you go up... Up the devil's elevator shaft... and pass all the other cartoon devils in his office. Souls are going down. Paperwork is piling up. El Diablo likes watermelon. He's got a picture of watermelon back there. <laughs> and maybe that means that uh, the devil and I are square. Because I'm going to take his clothes. And guys, that brings us to the end of Guacamelee. At long last. At one point, the devil was a cat. That makes me very happy. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Shoutouts to Narisham for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.